Why are Republicans so fascinated with Vladimir Putin? I mean, they love the guy. And guess what? I have uncovered evidence, clear evidence that shows exactly why they support Vladimir Putin. Here it is. A, uh, in 2024, a crazy thing happened and Biden were running against Putin for president of the United States. Putin. Who would you vote for? I would vote for Putin. Wow. That's a Trump supporter. That's a Trump supporter. Here's more. What we're seeing is 100% fabricated, okay? Now, obviously, if, um, if Pelosi and all these people are for Ukraine, duh, you will, you go opposite. That's just, that's common just sense. common sense. Common sense. Okay. I know, you know, my grandmother told me I shouldn't laugh at people. Uh, did you see how they were all in unison? <laughs> of course, it, if Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats, if they say water is wet, obviously it is not. This is the genesis of this whole thing. Trump made politics more tribal than ever in the United States of America. It was already tribal by the nature of political discourse. But what he did is he created what's called binary marketing techniques inside of politics. Binary marketing is simple. You present your, yourself in a way where people will either love you or hate you. They either agree with everything you say or nothing you say. If there is any deviation from this side, then they must be put on the other side. And now individuals are unable to independently think. It's called indoctrination. They cannot independently think and conclude based on logic. Okay, uh, there's another one. Here it is. Stand up. Suggest we're both done. Yeah, another Trump supporter, his name is Russell Bentley. He's standing with Russian troops. How in the hell did he get over there? I'm not talking about in Russia. How is he with the Russian military? Who gave him the security pass? I gotta tell you this, uh, Russell Bentley. The comrades are not gonna let you come back to America. I'm telling you, you know too much. All right, this is fascinating. Ravana, very fascinating stuff, right? Uh, Republicans are literally supporting Vladimir Putin. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene just a few days ago spoke at a pro-Putin rally. They were shouting Putin, Putin all over the um, audience. She came, she spoke. What's happening? What's going on in the world? Yeah, I mean, first I wanna say I'm right there with you. I was reading the story about uh, the man <laughs> from Texas who's in uh, who's in Ukraine with Russian troops. And my first thought was, how the hell did you get there? Right. How did you end what up there this? from Austin? <laughs> and, then you li and then he's live streaming, <laughs> they allowed him to live stream. Okay, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so when it comes to the other, you know, the pro Putin sentiment from the Republicans, I mean, we saw the woman who was literally just like, Biden and Pelosi are pro Ukraine, so obviously <laughs> right. Putin's good. It. It, it's it's just like the uh, the simplification, the team sportsification of mm. politics, right? Like yeah, you know, my team good, your team bad, your team like this, so my team you know has to go the opposite way. 
And it's a pathetic, unnuanced way to view politics yeah. and leads you down some like really, you know, dangerous and dark roads. But also just like the thought that, uh, you know, my mom used to always say to me, you know, if so and so told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? You know, for these people, it's like if Nancy Pelosi told you not to jump off a bridge, <laughs> would, would you jump off a bridge? Of course they they would. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Jumping off a bridge may be good now if Nancy Pelosi said do not do 